Hi, Rob Fletcher here with ANG TV. We're in Santa Clara, California at the Evolution Sports and Fitness Expo. I'm with Jamie DeBernard from Fit Body Fusion. Fit Body Fusion. Jamie is with us today. We have a great campaign that we're doing, America's Girls of the Gym. So, no better person to speak to than Jamie in regards to the campaign itself and the importance of strength training and lifting weights. So thank you, Jamie, for joining us. And your athletes are incredible. Thank you. So great leadership there. So first, the, the um, misconception of weight training, and especially in regards to women. What are your thoughts? Absolutely. It's one of the things we hear all the time. Women are afraid they're going to get too big and bulky. And there's really a, a lot more awareness around the importance of strength training for muscle density, for bone density, uh, for general health. We need it for balance, we need it for stability. All of these things are very, very important. So strength training has to be a component of every exercise program in order to really you know, be balanced. So out of the strength training, I think also another misconception is, uh, especially again with women, I think they think it's cardio, 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 when right. in fact the strength training actually burns more fat. Right. Uh, as opposed to 60 minutes on the treadmill. Right, so and, and, and you'll see many of my athletes, uh, many of them you've been photographing today, most of them do cardio once or twice a week for maybe about 20 minutes. I noticed that with Cammie. Yes. She was one of the girls for America's Girls at the Gym today. Yes. Awesome, mm -hmm. did a great job with her. Great person too, and that's what it's more about also. It's, it is. it's the campaign itself, it's about the passion that, and, and you all are si very similar in your passion. Yes. It's, it's about being passionate about what you do, and that's why we really appreciate having you here today because that's what we're all about too. So, uh, with the strength training, she did mention six days a week of strength training. Right. Where someone from the outside looking in would think, probably three, five days of strength training. But again, strength training is so important. So let's go to nutrition. You have a background there. How do you advise, uh, not just your competitors, but you know, especially with uh, with our viewers, just yes. the, the, the importance of proper nutrition. Proper nutrition, I always say, is 80%. I mean, it, y you have to have that. With that said, balance is the key. You know, m most of us are not gonna eat chicken and brown rice and broccoli for five meals a day all the time. And that's what people think we eat as athletes in this industry, and it's not the case. Not with, with the way I coach. Um, we utilize a macronutrient approach so that people can, can move in and out different foods that they like. You know, we really encourage a variety, fruits, vegetables, carbohydrate sources, obviously protein sources, but people think they need to eat nothing but proteins. Um, healthy fats. It's all important, it's balance. So true, I think that's another misconception is you know you have all these diets, it definitely tends to lead people to confusion yes. uh, with low carb diets for example, but I 100% agree, uh, you know, it's very important to get all the macronutrients, yes. you know, the carbs, the fats, and the protein, mm -hmm. keeping it together because they do work together and we do need them to function to our optimal levels on a day-to-day -day basis. Absolutely. I'm getting ready to teach a seminar after we're done here that's all about um, taking care of your metabolism. And what ends up happening, especially in our societies, there's a lot of yo-yo dieting going on and we hear that term a lot. But basically what that means is I'm dieting really hard, I'm losing a lot of weight, and then I get tired of my diet and then I go eat a lot of food and I gain the weight back plus more. So what ends up happening over time is that is our metabolisms adapt. It's metabolic adaptation. Our bodies are very smart and so that metabolism slows down what we have to do is the opposite so like with Cami um, you know we slowly raised up her carbohydrates and fats we got her in, uh, to about 350 grams of fat and about hundred grams of I'm sorry about 100 grams of fat about 350 grams of carbohydrates at her highest level and she still maintained the same level of body fat but we taught her her metabolism to be able to utilize these fuel sources more efficiently so that's the key uh, well with that said the importance of the trainer coach because everyone knows what they need to do not knowing how to do it and even if they think they can figure it out usually motivation is lost because the results they're thinking they're going to get do not happen so my advice seek out the professionals seek out the ones that can take you from where you are to where you want to be whether it is just to lose 10 to 20 pounds compete on a stage or be a professional athlete whatever that goal is Seek out the advice of a professional trainer or a coach. They make it happen. They have the knowledge, the passion, the skills to get it done. Rob Fletcher, Jamie DeBernard, Fit Body Fusion. Check it out. A-N-G-T-T-V.